Hey guys, how y'all doing today? If you ask me, it's going really good right now. It's 60 something degrees right now here in Texas and weather's beautiful. There's a little bit of sun out. It's perfect. It's a perfect day right now. So um, first I want to start off this video by uh, thanking Kyle for letting me showcase my DJ on his channel. Uh, so yeah, let's get this started. This is my 2004 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. I've had it for about, I'd say three years now. But I've driven it for two. Uh, I'm barely 17, so I got my license a couple years ago. So <laughs> that's that. But um, I've had my fair share of mods on this Jeep. We started working on it when I was like 14, when we added the lift and everything. But um, yeah, it's come along so far. It's come along pretty well so far. Um, so let me go ahead and run you through the exterior mods. So this Jeep right now is on a four inch. It's an older BDS suspension lift. It came with the uh, control alarms, um, springs, and everything. It's actually a really good lift, especially because I'm running Bilstein 3100Ds in the back and I'm running some Pro Comp shocks in the front. It's a really smooth ride, actually. I don't, I don't have any complaints about it. And then uh, I'm running 285-70R17 cooper discover mtps great tire to, to be completely honest it doesn't make any noise and i'm also running the uh, 17 inch and gunmetal gray rubicon wheels uh with some two and a half you know it's like i think it's like one and a quarter inch spacer they're hub centric got them off of amazon and they've been phenomenal since i got them so i have no issues with those spacers whatsoever i do have as you can see led fog lights and led a pillar lights they're the cheap ones you can get on amazon but they do the job they, they're really bright and i have uh, my sunpai leds which i got after i saw kyle's video they're a little bit scratched up but they're doing just fine super bright and yeah it's like really good they're, they're really good not bad and here i have uh some cheap metal marker winch that i've used a couple of times not the greatest but i mean it gets the job done it's it's a workhorse. Thing's been through everything. Don't have any D ring mounts, but I do want to go get those soon. So for right now, I just have the factory hooks there. This is not a factory bumper. I ordered this bumper off of eBay. It was like a hundred something dollars, but eighth inch steel. So it is really nice and thick. I've bashed it many times on some rocks, and it's done just fine. Then I have some custom rock sliders that we had fabricated um, in Matamoros, Tamaulipas. It's in Mexico. I live right by the border, so I can get fabricated. I can get fabricated stuff cheaply. So yeah, but these are really good. These are these have actually held up to the lots and lots of rock crawling. I've had to spray them over many times because of all the scratches. <laughs> but I mean, they've been super solid. So I mean, I love them. They look pretty good too, in my opinion. If we come around to the rear, I also have a custom fabricated uh, bumper with a tire carrier. This is a pretty beefy if you ask me. You can see there all the scratches and stuff like that from where we low-key destroyed a whole tree. Uh, some little LED pods in the back that are really bright and they've been through everything and they still work. Some deering mounts, you got your tow hitch. And there's a swing out tire carrier, which is really nice. It's a little bit rough right now because I haven't oiled it at all, but it works. I'm also running no third brake light. As you can see, the wires there, they're just chilling. And for exterior mods, that's about it. I don't have much on this Jeep because I like the simple, clean look. So yeah. This didn't come factory with a hardtop, which is why it's not the 03 through 06 hardtops. It's the later version. I did run this with a soft top for a while, but I uh, didn't, didn't like the noise that it made, so I just went back to the hardtop. And uh, this paint is absolute garbage. This Jeep has been through a lot, as you can see. I kind of bashed it into a rock and the paint started chipping. You can see on the hood, it has a bunch of scratches from tight trails and stuff like that. So 
yeah it's been through a lot so um getting back to it the suspension like i said is a four inch bds lift it's really nice the procom shocks have been spray painted so you can't really see branding or anything and i have adjustable and quick disconnect jks sway bar end links which have actually worked phenomenally well i have no complaints and you have a custom track bar with a heim joint over here but everything else is everything else on this uh steering is completely stock this jeep however is sort of a sleeper jeep this has front and rear dana 44s off a rubicon which i paid 500 dollars for them at a junkyard these differentials they were a little bit bent when we got them but we sent them to get straightened and they worked pretty well since then uh, the only thing the only complaint i have about these differentials is that they didn't straighten out the axle shaft so if you look at the rear tire it is slanted i just need to fix it i just need to buy new axle shafts and that'll fix the problem but yeah super great though i didn't realize that these that the lockers for the 03 to 06 rubicons were actually uh air, lo air lockers i forgot to mention this is a four liter four speed automatic it does pretty well, but I wish I'd have the five speed or the six speed that came on these because I sometimes do some highway driving and uh, having an automatic is not fun. This does have a slip yoke eliminator, so we don't have to run the, the skid plate spacers. We do, we do run that spacer in the front because the front drive shaft does end up hitting that cross member, but uh, I'm planning to get a, a custom skid plate done so I can get rid of that problem. That's about it for the exterior. I don't have much else to show. So it's like I said, it's a rather simple, clean Jeep. So yeah, let's move on to the interior. This does have the full khaki interior that all the 03 to 06 Saharas came with, which is kind of sad. I wish they had gone with the original, like the OG uh, tan and green. I love those interiors, but I'm okay with this one pretty clean inside i do still have my rear seat and as you can see i have a bunch of toe straps there um tools etc so this is still a really clean interior uh, i've taken tried to take care as best as i can of this uh aftermarket radio or at least the face then we have down here we have the front locker and the rear locker they are separate because on the normal Rubicons, you only have one button that's over here and that locks both of them. And that's kind of, I prefer having the, the separate lockers. I think they're a lot better. 100,000 or 108,000 miles on the clock, which is pretty good for this Jeep. Um, yeah, but there's not much else to say about this. It's a rather simple build, but I like it because it's not too flashy. It's, it's very subtle. And yeah. Also, if my tailgate isn't locked, I'd like to show you the hidden goodies behind this tailgate. Oh, here we go. These are two 10-inch subs when you're <laughs> when you're blasting music with a lot of bass. All I'm going to say about those subs is you can feel every vibration in them. You can see that's a little rough. I need to oil it. But, uh, yeah. Don't have many more plans for this Jeep in the future. I sort of want to keep it the way it is. I don't really plan on doing anything else. Um, the only thing I do plan on doing later on is an LS swap 5.3 with the uh, 4L80 transmission. Well, I do like well, I do like the manuals. I think an automatic would just be better for daily driving this. So that'd be it for me. And that, my overview of the of my Jeep Wrangler. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'd highly recommend for anybody that wants to showcase your Jeep to go ahead and uh, ask Kyle if you can put a video out. And that'll be it for me. Thank you guys for watching.